For over 500 years, the history of Newfoundland and Labrador has been tied to the sea. The province's maritime history has witnessed fishing vessels of all sizes, cargo ships, communication vessels, and oil tankers. Today, these vessels share the ocean with oil rigs that harvest the resources under the sea. The Ocean and Naval Architectural Engineering Program at Memorial prepares you for an engineering career in this exciting field. Rated as one of the top programs of its kind in North America, it is the only cooperative program in ocean and naval architectural engineering in the world. I think naval architecture is, is a great specialization. It's probably one of the more specialized disciplines uh, that Memorial has to offer. Um, so right off the bat, I think you're showing, by doing Naval Arc, I think you're showing that you have a, a firm interest in the offshore oil and gas industry. Plus, uh, living in Newfoundland, I always have a fascination with ships coming in and out of the harbor. You're not dealing with small structures here. You know, these are the biggest structures in the world, and they just so happen to be offshore. So uh, that, that was very appealing to me as well. The program in Ocean and Naval Architectural Engineering includes two related but distinct fields. Naval Architectural Engineers conceive, design, and construct ships, offshore structures, and other floating equipment to serve the needs of the ocean-going community. Ocean Engineers, on the other hand, develop and design floating, underwater, and bottom-sided systems, wave measuring buoys, underwater vehicles, acoustic systems including sonar, offshore platforms and shoreline facilities. Right now in my position I have to analyze structure as they go into the ocean. So I'm using a lot of my naval architecture with hydrodynamics and structural loads and stuff. So I still have my textbooks and notes and stuff like that so I'm applying them to the structures and find it really useful to get a better understanding of everything. The Faculty of Engineering and Applied Science has its own 57-meter-long towing tank that is available for research and testing. Students and faculty work side-by-side -side to test, develop, and improve new technologies such as this ROV project that captures images of the sea floor used to create detailed maps. What we're doing, we're developing uh, tools to basically better navigate on the seafloor and give a better handle on, you know, the, for the pilots that drive the ROV through a tether to drive around and uh, without hitting anything and uh, possibly grabbing something without sitting down on the seafloor. Like all disciplines of engineering, the Ocean and Naval Architectural Engineering program provides opportunities for entrepreneurs. Many graduates have developed technologies that have led to business opportunities in the offshore industry. We're a project working with um, virtual marine technology on the development of um, simulation technology for the marine environment. So we're looking primarily at uh, simulators for um, lifeboats, fast rescue crafts. We're also uh, divulging into virtual environment development. So what you see behind me here is the free fall launching lifeboat. We've been modeling both fast rescue crafts and, and uh, lifeboats, both of which have different um, hulls. Our campus's close proximity to the ocean provides students with tremendous access to facilities and professionals within the industry. Field trips such as this tour of a Coast Guard vessel provide hands-on, real-life educational opportunities. Uh, all these indicator lights, uh, and they're not just lights, they actually are push work start in electronic control, uh, couple stations on the bridge, and, and it can be switched. The Faculty of Engineering's cooperative program uniquely positions our students for work term opportunities in a variety of industries all over the globe. For graduate student Peter Gifford, it was a work term placement in Europe that helped develop his idea for a new business. Well, what we've created here is, uh, it's called the Transpar Craft. It's uh, a wind turbine access vessel for uh, offshore wind turbines, uh, especially over in the UK. Um, so the design sort of came from uh, a competition that was held over uh, in the UK by a company called the Carbon Trust. Uh, they put out a call for um, novel vessels to get people to and from offshore wind turbines in 
more difficult weather conditions, so larger waves and further from shore. And this is what we came up with. Um, so they had 425 applicants. We were one of 13 winners, myself and Brian Beach, who's one of the professors here at MUN. The career opportunities in ocean and naval architectural engineering are as vast as the oceans themselves. If your interests are in marine-related engineering, then Memorial's Ocean and Naval Architectural Engineering program can help launch your future.